Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Sun Saisi Pandon told the National Assembly or NA on Thursday that the government will provide few importers with a letter of credit worth 200 million US dollars for the purchase of sufficient petrol to meet the nation's needs. Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Son Sai Si Pandon told the National Assembly members that the government will provide few importers with a letter of credit. This amount could buy 200 million liters of fuel which would cover the demand for July and August at 100 million liters a month. The government will continue to provide foreign currency to importers during the remainder of the year in a bid to procure sufficient fuel. The Deputy Prime Minister said in response to questions raised by Assembly members about the government's plans to fuel supply amid continuing shortage. The government has provided credit despite limited foreign currency reserves. The plunging value of the keep has placed an added burden to importers struggling to source sufficient foreign currency to buy much needed fuel, which must all be imported. <laughs> According to Dr. Son Sai, the government would source foreign currency from companies that export minerals and agricultural produce, which would be given to few importers over the remaining months of this year. The government has allocated 60 million US dollars for use by few importers in June, and the Ministry of Finance recently provided an additional 10 million US dollars. From June 1st to 21, as much as 102 million US dollar was sourced to pay for imported fuel, which was enough to cover normal needs and included money sourced from commercial banks. This has enabled more petrol stations to open. Laos imports all its fuel requirements and on average imports 100 to 120 million liters of fuel a month. Prior to the steep price hike, it cost 600 to 700 million US dollars to import sufficient quantities of fuel for one year. But the amount spent has doubled in line with the spiraling price of fuel on the world market. Dr. Son Sai told assembly members that the demand for foreign currency has also risen sharply. So sourcing sufficient foreign currency to buy fuel is difficult. Laos currently buys fuel from Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia and Singapore. The government is looking at ways to diversify the sources of the fuel it imports so that the load is spread and disruption to one source would not cause a crisis. In the long term, the government will consider ways to promote investment in oil refinery plants in Laos where crude oil could be refined to ensure fuel security. There are currently no such plants operational in the country. Dr. Son Sai pledged that authorities in charge would take action against individuals who manipulate exchange rates unlawfully for personal gain after learning that the disparity between exchange rates offered by commercial banks and some currency exchange units was inappropriately large. Some foreign exchange units that were found to be in breach of the regulations have had their license revoked.